welcome to the ramen world! Thank you, thank you! 今日は玉ねぎを使った味噌ラーメンを作ります。本当に単純な料理です。玉ねぎをキャラメル色になるまで炒めます。そして玉ねぎの甘みを出して、その玉ねぎの甘みが味噌ラーメンとよく合います。玉ねぎだけの味噌ラーメンも美味しいですけど、今日はニラもありますから、ニラと玉ねぎとニンニクで炒めたやつを味噌ラーメンの上にのせます。玉ねぎだけでも非常に美味しいです。単純だけでも非常に美味しい味噌ラーメン。これを今日作っていきます。それと、いつものように僕が作っている焼きそばのソースと焼きそばの麺。これが本当に少しずつ少しずつ伸びていっています。本当に嬉しいです。下の方の概要欄に Facebook を貼っておきますので、それから注文することができます。それをよろしくお願いします。そして今日は玉ねぎ味噌ラーメンを頑張って作りましょう。So, for these ingredients, we need one sapori chiba miso ramen, one whole onion, Chinese chives, garlic paste, 480 grams of water, 20 grams of sake, and one gram of kombucha. First, we're going to cut off the top and the bottom of the Chinese chives, cut it in half, and cut it into three inches. For the onion, we're going to cut the stem and the roots and peel off the skin. Then, cut the middle part of the onion and use a food slicer to thinly slice the onion. And now add oil in a pan and cook the onion in mild heat until it's caramelized. Then add the Chinese chives and stir fry until it becomes soft. In another pan, add water and sake and boil the noodles for three minutes in high heat. While we wait, add kombucha and soup powder into the serving bowl. Caramelized onion ramen. This is pretty、uh, familiar to the ramen from the yakisoba arrangement. Caramelized onion yakisoba. This is ramen with yeah, Chinese, Chinese chives. chives. Yeah, looks really good. I can really smell the caramelized onion、yeah. and it really looks good. Let's try it. Wait, we're gonna try the soup first. Let's try the, the soup. onion. They're just caramelized onions. Yeah, I can really taste the sweetness from the、yeah. onion. It's really good. How about you, Sena? How do you like it? It tastes good. Tastes good? I'm、mm. gonna try the noodles now. Thank you, Mama. Mmm. 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 It's delicious. So good. It's really, really simple,、mm. but it's so good. The caramelized onion is so sweet. And it really goes well with the ramen,、mm. especially with miso ramen. This is miso ramen, so like, it's really good. It's pretty simple and it's delicious. You like it? Yeah. You like it? Anything you w a n t to say? I like how the soup and ramen taste. The soup tastes、yeah. actually a little bit sweet. The miso soup just really goes well. I really like the soup. Yeah, it's really good.、But、you could eat this with rice, though. Oh, yeah. With rice? Go to this one. お父さん、雑炊ってあるでしょうん。やっぱラーメンも、終わって麺が足りなかったらご飯入れるのもいいよね。うん、もちろんもちろんご飯入れるもうちょっとちゃんと喋って。<笑>せやこれ、好きオニオンうん。美味しいうん。どもども大丈夫よね。うん。オニオンの甘みが出るからね。You know, about this like ramen to rice, like, you know, when you have out of noodles and when you want to put rice, that's not traditional actually though. Hey, but, but you do it too, I tell. I tell me, I just want to get it. I'm not going to take it. 
Maybe, it depends on um, if I'm still hungry or not. The point about this caramelized onion ramen is that when you don't have nothing at your home but ramen and onions, this is what you can do. Make this amazing caramelized onion because this is really good. It's really simple and really quick. So, you know, hope you guys learned about this because when you don't have anything at home, it's better to just do something instead of just making simple instant ramen. So, yeah, you guys have to try it. online on our Facebook page. The Facebook page is called the Daddy Sex Soba. It's $1.25 for one pack, one pack of yakisoba noodles and one pack of yakisoba sauce. It's really good. We also have a video about the yakisoba arrangements. You should try it. It's spicy to uh, bean sprouts, curry to egg. It's really good. I mean, you should try this. It's really cheap, really quick and easy. There's no other food that you can describe it to. So try it before it's too late and it's just so good. And just go buy it right now. So thank you guys for watching this video. Please subscribe, like, and comment. And don't forget to hit that link button so you can get more notifications from us. And this was really good. I love how the sweetness goes well with the soup and then this really nice aroma to it. Really kids friendly. So like anything when you don't have anything at your home, and this is really good though because it's better to have something creative instead of just eating a simple ramen. So try it now, it's really good. Yeah. So thanks guys for watching, bye!